3-1 win and uh, a great game. I can't I can't lie. I mean, it's got everything in it. You had a uh, it got some tackles and displayed uh what's his name? Sadie, is that the guy's name, the midfielder? Um the young one we got from Chelsea. He's he's class, man. Like he showed glimpses of it when he played around 60 minutes the other weekend, I think it was. Uh but yeah, this time round played very very well. I mean, he he won the ball good for us. Um just I don't know. He was very forward thinking and of course I think you have any other Reading fan at the stadium well, as of late the last few years. There's not many players that do that, there's not many players that go forward. Um so yeah, it was good to see. I was frustrated with Tomins. I, I know he scored two goals, but I was quite frustrated with him. Simply because he didn't release the ball much, and it was just ah, oh, it was just too many touches on the ball, not looking up enough. Um but you know, credit to him, he got his two goals on a day, so yeah, yeah, I want you to put him back in the net. Nothing else really matters. But yeah, our first goal came in the first half. And uh, yeah, a bit of luck, I say. I think, I don't know, at home, we're just, we're, we're a different team. It's so weird because away, we're absolute dog show. But when they're at home, it's like we're unstoppable. We're attacking, attacking, pardon a few results this season. But yeah, we just keep going on the ball. We're in the box. We're taking shots. And the more shots you take, the more likely it's going to hit the net. And it did. Yeah, it came off the defender's foot. Um, but you have to hit the shot anyway for it to even do that. So it's pretty much all that happened in the first half. I can't remember much. Uh, our defence looked a bit dicey at times. Uh, Blackfield were able to cross in the box or, you know, get in near the box. But they just skied it every time. And I've got to be honest, their shooting was not on par today. It was terrible. That brings us to the second half. And yeah, I, I, I don't really know what happened. We didn't start it very well, in my opinion. I felt like we were just really... We will take a lot of pressure from um, Blackpool. They just kept pressing us. Uh, they seemed to have understood how we played, which is, to be fair, we went on the wings quite a lot. Spreading the ball out wide, just hopefully uh, cross and go in, obviously Andy Carroll or even Yakamadi hit the ball in there. But yeah, Blackpool knew what they are doing. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think we managed to get on the break. Yeah, Yakamadi, that's it. Uh, it was just running down the flank and I, d I didn't quite see the foul, but I, I assume he clips the back of him, which means it's a penalty. Uh, so fair play. I didn't expect Andy Carroll to get the ball, but he did. Slots at home and yeah, we're tuning it up at that stage. Last one a few minutes and we scored another. So it's, it's a, you can look at it in two ways. It could be a scrappy goal or a well, a well team goal sort of thing. Where, where the, um, the ball's been passed around, you know, something that's just hit the back of the net. It's just one of those goals you don't see often because these usually go sky or, you know, get saved or blocked. But yeah, just it went in the net. So that's all I can ask for really is that we score the goals and, you know, 3-0 I and mean, we go home happy. Unfortunately, we don't. We do not go home happy because uh, literally the last kick of the game, I'd say, Blackpool just, just squeeze it in. They just squeeze it in the end, 90th plus fourth minute or whatever. They just squeeze it in. It's just unfortunate. We'd love the clean sheet, but we didn't get it. Um, yeah, credit to the Blackpool fans for coming. I know it's about, what, 400 to 500 of you? Yeah, it's probably... A, a long trek for how well you're doing this season, but you know, credit for coming. Um, it's a shame you guys couldn't really show you know, any worth. Uh, it does look like you're going down. That's the sad thing, the sad truth about it. Um, but yeah, Reading just absolutely amazing at home again. Uh, looking forward to our games coming up, but we've got two games at home. We do have an away game next weekend before that, but two games at home. It's going to be a great time for us to get some points on the boards and get to the 50 point mark that Paul Lynch keeps babbling all about. So, uh, right, so I bring up my man of match. I mentioned him earlier, but I think his name is Kasady or Kasade. I don't really know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, the Italian youngster, uh, he was just so good today. He didn't play the full 90, but um, he was just, no, he just linked up the play very well, kept the ball moving, um, just looked to keep passing it, you know. You can tell he was very raw, like, he, he did take a lot of time to pass the ball here and there, but I mean, that ball gave him a lot of time anyway, so it didn't see much of an issue, but. Yeah, just keep it going. Um, he's nice and tall, man. I swear to God. It's like having Andy Carra, who's a bit younger and fitter and not stocky, um, that he can play the ball a lot and run around in midfield, basically. Yeah, does very well um, for himself. And yeah, I'm happy for him and hopefully we get to see more of him. Hopefully in the away games, because that might change things around a bit because we don't really play him in a way. Right then, that's been my opinion of the game. Happy three points to us. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.